Hello, sweet friends and crafters, and welcome to Carol's Craft Cottage today. I have a different kind of project for you. This is actually the first junk journal that I have ever made. The previous thing I shared with you that was a kit was a recipe book, but I decided to make a junk journal. I wanted to give this one to someone very special to record her craft proje projects in and who she gives them to um, and other things that she might want to um, record in here. It's nice to have something like this to record your craft projects and who you gave them to on what date and what the occasion was. It's also nice to have something like this to record the books that you've read with the uh, name of the book and the author and what you thought about the book in case you want to make recommendations. There's so many things you can do with a junk journal besides um, those two that I just listed, but that's what I had uh, in mind for my recipient. So this is called a Sunflower and Bee Junk Journal Kit, and I purchased it on Etsy. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the seller is My White Cat Journal. And you can go on to YouTube and find her video where she'll show you how to put your junk journal together. And she'll also do a flip through of her junk journal. Mine is super chunky thick. I don't think I'll ever make one chunky as this again. As you can see right here, pretty chunky. That was like three and three quarters inch on the spine on this. And I didn't want to cover it because I want the spine to lay pretty flat. So I didn't want to put anything on that. And as you can see, you get the cover, this beautiful cover that says Sunflower Junk Journal. And I sewed around it. And then you get the back, which is this beautiful image as well. So we're going to dive into this because it's pretty large. And I wanted to show you all my pages. So when I opened it, open it you can see that it does lie really flat here and that'll make for a better um, book binding for my recipient to write into this look at this uh, beautiful sunflower page here on the first cover and this is the one that's in the back it's just so pretty and what I did is I printed out this whole kit and I would sit and watch television and cut out all the pieces. There's a lot of fussy cutting and a lot of sewing, but in actuality, this probably took me a day and a half to finish once I did all the preliminary work and I did sew in all my signatures and everything. So to actually put it together and decorate it, it didn't take me too much time because I had everything cut out. So we have this beautiful first page on my signature. Just put some lace and I put some stickles almost on all the su uh, sunflowers as much as I could prior to putting this together. And I sewed the pages together. So on this first page, you have like a grid and in your kit, you get a grid pages and you get line pages and you get plain pages and you'll see that as we go along here and I just uh, so I did not uh, print them back to back so I just sewed the copy paper together to um, make the page you get several um, envelopes and this is the first one and you get all these tickets everything um, that has a sunflower image comes in your kit and you get this beautiful envelope and all I have inside it is a card. You get a whole bunch of different tags and cards to go with your envelopes and all the little things that you need to put this together. I did do some uh, staining of my paper and to get this green color, I used some Kool-Aid and I just used a punch to do the uh, lace on the side. You do get all these little tabs in your kit. Here we have another page on the back. You, you do get all these images. And this little uh, specimen slide 
die is from KS Craft, in case you're looking for that. And I love this concept. I thought it was really cute to put in this junk journal. All the little sentiments come with your kit. The bees. This one right here is a sticker that I got at uh, Hobby Lobby. And I do have this die in my stash. Really cute. You get a, some more tags. Fits right in this pocket. And I did a lot of these little um, trims with these little pieces that you get in your kit. And all I did was sew them and put some lace on them. Some of these pages are so beautiful, you don't want to cover them up. I have this little uh, pocket right here. And I have another little specimen slide again with the bees. It says, Be Brave. And I have some more tags right here. Just slide inside with this. And you can see I have another uh, grid page right here. In Seeking Happiness for Others, you will find it in yourself. This comes in your kit. More flowers from your kit. I just put a paper doily in there. Here's another uh, page from your kit. And you get these different little images and stickers. These little pockets come in the kit. There's a lot of cutting in this project. Here's a lined page. I just love how this looks like it is uh, a metal hinge in there. I think it's just beautiful. Here we have another page. This page is, has bees and this image came in the kit and I cut it out, put some stickles on it and put it here to hold this beautiful tag. It's plain, like I said, on the back. I have another doily here and a beautiful sunflower image there. And you get this uh, pocket right here. It says B, B E E, like a sunflower. And here we have another B specimen slide and some little uh, tags insert for this pocket. Then we have another grid page. Here we have a plain paper that I dyed and I have a little charm here with a B on it. This little sticker right here comes from the uh, Dollar Tree. I did use some Dollar Tree stickers in here. Look at how beautiful this is. I just love these images. Here's another park pocket with a little file folder that I have paper clipped and you open this up and inside there are pockets with little uh, tags in here with sunflowers on them. It's just beautiful. I need to make one of these for myself because I love it so much. And we're going to the next page. We got another little pocket. And inside is a little envelope with a tag inside. I'm not going to take it out. I'm just going to put it in here. It says live under the sun with a B. And this is all for writing on here, writing here too. Now we have this B page. And then we're going to our second signature, which is this beautiful image. And then you get all these little stamps to cut out. And I uh, dyed this with um, Kool-Aid again. <laughs> and I uh, made this by sewing some lace on top of these little pieces that come in your kit. And just put a sunflower on top. Another beautiful image. This one has the, the grid. And this little sticker right here is from the Dollar Tree. This is a sticker from... Hobby Lobby and I tried coffee dyeing some paper with lace on top of it. Some I have some like plastic lace I put on top and you can see the the lace once it dried. Then we have this side. You do get these little measurement images in your kit. And then I have um, some paper sewn together with a little button and this really cute little bee charm on here. 
put a little flower on this side of the doily and you have a pocket here with another envelope and a tag for writing isn't it pretty it's so beautiful i love it this is just plain and then we have oops, we got a little sticky there we have this image this bee on the doily and this beautiful uh, sunflowers in a pot and then i have a sewn piece up here with a charm and these charms right here come from aliexpress and i got those recently so if you need a a link to those i can get you that for sure because it was recent that i got them as a matter of fact i got them uh monday and i was putting this together on monday um this sticker is from the dollar tree and we have some more of the coffee dyed with the lace print in it and a grid print print here. And most of these laces that you see on the edges of the paper are from Hobby Lobby. And then we have this little pocket with some tickets. I might have to work this out of here. <laughs> I might have put the tickets in here before the glue is actually dry. So I won't pull those out now, but I'll go fix that when I'm off camera. And here's a little B. It says, be your own sunshine. And this one, I did the same thing. Stuck it in before it was dry. I'll fix that after. Here we have some little sunflower stickers from Hobby Lobby with the uh, Kool-Aid dyed paper area for writing look at how pretty those bees are and we're going into the third signature now with this beautiful image it says bees do have a smell you know and if they don't they should for their feet are dusted with spices from a million flowers I love the sayings in this then we got best day here with this pretty image and I made a pocket out of some extra paper and I just went along the edge with a punch and here's some cards that go in here then we have this one that says summer with a stamp up here and we have another slide I love making these specimen slides this was fun and that just tucks in here and it says love all of you more area for writing we have writing here. This is again a sticker from Hobby Lobby. This is in the kit. This says sunflower. This says wisdom. Then we have a pocket here with a couple tags that fit right in here. Like I said, you get all these little pockets in your kit. We get this one. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And these are the tickets. Now this one I did not cut these apart. I left it like that so it can be written on the back and just tucked in here. Then we have this beautiful page, a B on this doily. And then there are three, I think, three bookmarks in the kit. See the beautiful bees on there. And then we have some coffee dyed paper with a imprint of a doily. And this pretty embellishment here, love these. Love this pocket here. We've got a couple tags here. And we've got this uh, Kool-Aid dyed paper, lined paper on this side. Then we have this pocket with this cute little um, vase tag. And then a little film strip of sunflower pictures fits in there. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. We've got this uh, lined piece of paper. And then this one is paper clipped and it opens up. And inside is a three pocket holder. I have some tags in here. I'll show you that one. That one's really pretty. And I just keep it. Uh, closed with a paper clip.
really pretty. And I put it on two page, pages here. All right. Here we have another little pocket. And this was an image and I just created a pocket and put the little tickets in there. This is a pocket from your kit. I love these, so pretty. I just love looking at this. I could just sit and look at this for hours. It says sunshine right here. We got another little pocket, it says blooming with a couple tags. I had this left extra, so I just clipped it on there. I didn't have much left over at all in this kit. And a little stamp up there. This is from the Dollar Tree. Got this beautiful image in the kit. This actually comes from the Sunflower uh, paper collection from last year at Michael's. I just had a few extra of that and I stuck it in there. And yep, there's plenty of places for writing. Here's that page. You get two of these film strips, so I put one on this doily. And I put this on this side and a little image here. This is some Kool-Aid dyed, uh, yeah, it's not composition paper, but it's uh, three, three ring binder paper, more. And then I stuck, uh, this says live positively. I just stuck this specimen slide right on that uh, Kool-Aid dyed page. Then we come over here and we have another, you get two of these little, um, what do you call them, file folder uh, tag holders in the kit. So that just goes in that pocket. Sticker from Hobby Lobby. Here we have another uh, pocket that I put a B on with two sunflower tags in there. And then I just decorated this page. This was an uh, image in the kit. And it says, keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see the shadow. It's what sunflowers do. And you do get these little inchies. There's several of them in the kit. This is from uh, Hobby Lobby. More images from the set and I just added buttons to. And then this is a little card that I created with a extra um, little card that I had from Hobby Lobby. I just wanted to see how it would turn out. These stickers are from uh, the Dollar Tree and these little sunflowers are from Hobby Lobby on there too. I was just playing around with this. They had a uh, clearance sale on these little cards and envelope things. So I was playing around with that for my journal. It says, love your life. And this is from the sunflower uh, paper pad. I just cut that out and stuck it in here. Here is another three layer um, tag holder. Got this really big tag in here. And we've got these beautiful images here that I stickled. Like I said, I cut a lot of this stuff out and um, did the distress inking and the stickles while watching television. We have this uh, right here. This comes in your kit. This is like a little envelope and it just opens up like this and it has tags inside. We've got a, um, a B tag in there and I think that's the only one I put. You could put whatever you want. So for instance, if um, my friend was doing a baby blanket and I had a picture of it in the kit, she could have actually fold it up and put it in here as a memento. That's what's great about, about junk journals. You can put anything in it that you want to keep as a um, memoir. And this just tucks right in here. And I made this pocket out of that sunflower pad from Michael's. This Make It Happen is a st that sticker set from the Dollar Tree. Some more images from 
the kit that says Embrace All That Is You. And here's another bookmarker from the kit. This piece right here. And then we have a bee and a beautiful sunflower. It says beautiful. And then we have this sunflower here that I use as a tuck for this pretty bee card. And then we have another one of these that I created by sewing some lace on that little piece of paper and I put another little bee charm. See how it sparkles? <laughs> and we have a little pocket here with some tickets in it. And you don't have to fill everything up because you can stick more things in there. And then we have these inchies which are in the kit that I used to decorate this. And this comes in the kit, which is like a measuring tape. This uh, piece of paper was from something else I had just lying around and it went, so I stuck it in there. And we have this pretty sunflower and some more Kool-Aid paper. <laughs> that measuring tape. This is a uh, piece of paper from the sunflower paper pad. And this right here is, uh, today is the day, is from the stickers from the Dollar Tree. And here's another bookmarker. Isn't that pretty with the B on it? We have little stamps in the kit. Here's another charm. I loved everything about this kit. It's another piece of paper from the uh, Sunflower paper pad from Michaels. And I use the inchies in the kit there. And this image, and we have another pocket with some more tags. We've got this really cute bee. I just love this. And this is the last signature we have. We have a bee hanging off of this one. This is a three layer tag holder. And I love this. Wait till I take this apart and show it to you. This is actually an image. And you get the pieces to layer to make this um, like this. Isn't that cute? It's adorable. I love it. You don't even know that little um, picture is there until you take all the tags out. So cute. I got this here. This has a um, another envelope that you get in your kit. This is the uh, sticker from the Dollar Tree and in here I have uh, yeah little journaling piece. So beautiful. It says you're lovely on that sunflower. And then, I don't know where I got this piece. This isn't in the kit, but I had this. So I just used it to make a little band to put these little cards in here. And we got some writing area here. And I put a B here, it says be kind. There's nothing here. This is just images I did not want to cover up. These are the little inchies that you get in the, the kit. To decorate some more images a sticker from Hobby Lobby more writing area this is another sticker from that uh, sticker collection from Dollar Tree and I have another I made a lot of these uh, specimen slides because I love them so much so I stuck one there then we got this piece and this little uh, tag holder here get these tags in your collection and we're coming to the end we're on the last page I don't know what I put behind this and it, there's the inchies some more inchies I wanted to use them up yep and we've got the last page here and it's another like a belly band here with a B it says be mine and we've got these little tags in here this is also from the Michaels paper pad. I just thought it went with this, so I put it in here. So I want to thank you all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this junk journal. This is the first junk journal I ever made. 
I hope to make some more because I love it. I need to make one for myself. And I'm going to leave, like I said, again, I'll leave the link to the kit that I used. And if I can find the YouTube video of um, my white cat journal um, doing a flip through and showing you what you got in the kit, I'll leave that down below too. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed everything that I showed you today. And until next time, happy crafting, everybody. Bye-bye.